level one. Welcome back to some more old school RuneScape. This is it. We're about to begin. I have a ton of cash and a square with a frog on it. And today, begin the hunt. The Dragon Slayer. So we got two. Uh, speak with the guild master and champions guild southwest of rock. North, south, east, west. This way. You're looking for the Champions Guild. This could be it right here. Now before we start... Greetings, Bold Adventure. Welcome to the Guild of Champions. Why, thank you. Nice place you got here. I mean, it's got a table. It's got, it's got some papers on a desk and a, and a range. What's, what's downstairs? Downstairs? Okay, upstairs. What's upstairs? We got Scavo. What do you got, Scavo? Go buy some exciting new toys. Oh, goody goody toys. Ooh. Ooh. This a new toys. There goes all my money, but this a new toys. Uh, what are you selling today? You are selling Admin Plate, Body Black Plate, Legs Black Willem, and a blue cape. Ooh, blue. I do like blue. I'll, I'll, I'll grab a blue cape while, while I'm here. Ready to slay a dragon. Not not quite. Uh, I still got some training to do, but I managed to get 40 attacks. We can now wield a rune swords, rune weapons, which are quite a bit stronger, but they're also uh, quite a bit more expensive, clearly. Uh, you can see they also sold uh, right here. They, sold, they sell rune armor. In the form of plate skirt, plate legs, and a chain body. These are pretty pricey. Uh, the skirt and legs go for 64000 The chain body goes for 50000 Obviously, there's no plate body because that actually requires you to complete the quest to wield. But, you know, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. So I got a new sword. Ready to train some defense because we're a little lacking in that part. So, here we are in a strange location underground. And there are a bunch of giants here. This is where I've been doing my training. Check this out. This is new. I just added it. The experience, which is good because my calculations are correct. Maybe. There it is. 30 defense. You can now wear adamant armor. Very cool. Combat level is up to 51. What just happened? Come up level is 51. We're gonna go see about getting some of that adamant armor. It's gonna be a bit expensive. I'm probably gonna have to do some more fishing for it. But it, it can be done. Where are these bones? 29 prayer right now. I think we have about, about 10 more kills we can get up to prayer level. And let's just head back. So. We gotta get that quest started. We have a dragon to slay. Okay, back in Al Qaeda, we're gonna visit our friend here, Louis Legs. And he's got some adamant plate legs for 6,400. Looking great. Looking cool and green. Green is the new black. Green is the new black, which is the new blue. Something like that. I don't know, I don't know colors. And in the Champions Guild, when we saw the cool toys upstairs, I believe they had something special I needed. If I can afford it, might not be able to. No, it was, it was this one. Yeah, I plate body. Oh wow, I cannot afford that right now. Hmm. I guess I have more fishing to do. Okay, I now have enough money for the Adamant Plate Body. Yeah. Looking cool in green. Alright, let's get this show on the road. And one more thing I want to get up here. Just for this quest, since we're going to be fighting like a dragon. I need a little headgear. Yeah. Now I look like I'm ready to go. Now I got them. Okay, one more little side task to just prepare. Uh, we came in here last time, we got a little wrecked, but now I'm a little bit more prepared. We're gonna proceed further than we've gone in the past. 
because uh, we are on the search for a very so special thing. Flash the web. Is this it? Is this it? That is not it. That is a knife. That is a very large spider. Hi, spider. Ooh, we're getting close. These deadly red spiders are what I'm looking for. And there they are. There are those spiders' eggs. And this is what I came for. Um, I think these are the only two spawns. Yeah. Um, but these... These spider eggs... I'm gonna be able to do stuff with. And we got two more. Cool. Thank you... Person for not... Taking the egg spawns. Do I have auto tie it on? I do. Okay. And hopefully the spider doesn't attack us. Come on, change world. Darn it. Too late. Too late. Oh, these guys are one, one large, right? Right here, it's good. Okay, I'm gonna do this a few more times. So we're gonna get the spider eggs. And then we're gonna do something with them. We're not going to eat them. Do not taste very good. Now with this pile of random stuff in our inventory, we're gonna come down here and talk to the apothecary who kinda helped us out with Romeo and Juliet and stuff. And the apothecary, I know. Uh, I need some of this stuff. Uh, yeah. Doom, And we get a strength potion with four doses. Nice and simple. I'm just gonna go through this a few times. And we're going to get tons of these. We're going to be totally ready for all the dragon killing. Yeah. Okay. I have no idea what we're actually going to need for this. Um, doesn't have any requirements, so I don't know if there's going to be any skilling involved. I do have a few items with me. And we are here. Hello, Guildmaster. I think you have a quest for me. Uh, can I have a quest, please? That's why I'm here. Aha! Yes, a mighty and perilous quest fit only for the most powerful champion. At the end of it, you will earn the right to wear the legendary rune plate body. Yes, I totally have the defense level for that. You'll have to speak to Oziak, the maker of rune army. He sets the quest that champions must complete in order to wear it. Oziak so lives in a hut by the cliffs to the west of Edgeville. He can be a little odd sometimes, though. I have quite my experience with odd people. I think I'll be fine. So, we are going to be heading up northwest to Edgeville to talk to... Oziak, I think his name was. Yeah. Let's go with that. So this is we haven't visited too often. This is Edgeville. We came here once or twice. Um, but we are looking for this guy right up here, I believe. That's the guy. We just had to fill his house with moon armor. Oziak. Aye, it is a fair day, my friend. Um, I'm not your friend. I'm surprised if you're anyone's friend with those kind of manners. But you are weird. Uh, sure. Let's call it a nice day today. I may the gods walk by your side. Now leave me alone. Um, I guess I gotta be more forceful. Give me the plate body. Uh, I was told. Yes, suppose he would retease. Always sending you fancy pants heroes up to bother me. Telling me I give him a quest or summit like that. I'm not gonna just let anyone marry one plate man. It's only for heroes, so leave me alone. Uh, I thought you were going to give me a quest. <sighs> Alright, I'll give you a quest. I'll let you wear my own plate body if you slay the dragon of Crandor. Yay! Ah uh, yes, you are the typical reckless adventurer, aren't you? Now go kill the dragon and get out of my face. Uh, how do I do that? If you're talking to the guild master, I'll help you do stuff. I'm not going to be handling any adventures. And holding. Not gonna be handling. Okay. Well, we have our quest. Big surprise. We have to slay a dragon. Uh, so now we have to go back and talk to the guild master. Maybe he's got some tips for us. Back to the guild. To the guild master. Yes, hello. Thank you for the welcome. How do I slay a dragon? Let me tell you. Beat the dragon of Crandor. The dragon of Crandor? Yeah. Uh, he's, he hasn't given me a new strategy. Ah, uh, that should be fun. 
Uh, 30 years ago, Crandor was a thriving community with a great tradition of mages and adventurers. Mainly Crandorius even earned the right to be part of the Champions Guild. I did that too. One of their adventures went too far, however. He descended into Volcano to the center of Crandor and woke the dr dragon Elvard. Mr. fought violently against the dragon because they say that to this day she has a scar down her side. Uh, the dragon or the person? Is it a she dragon? Must be a she dragon. The dragon still in the fight. She emerged and laid waste the whole of Crandor with her fire breath. Some refugees managed to escape in fishing boats and landed up on the coast near Remington. Set up camp, the dragon followed them and burned the camp to the ground. Um, out of all the people of Crandor, there are only three survivors. A trio of wizards used magic to escape. Names were Thalzar, Lozar, and Melzar. If you're serious about talk, taking on Elvard, you first need to go to Cran get to Crandor. The island is surrounded by dangerous reefs, so you need a ship capable of getting through them. The map show you the way. Okay, ship and map. Um, when you reach Crandor, you also need some kind of protection against the dragon's breath. Okay. So three things. Reef, map, and protection. Uh, how, how can I find the route? Only one map exists that shows through the reef's Crandor. That map was split into three pieces. Three pieces of a map. Ship. Breath. Um, by Melzar, Thelzar, and Lozar. The wizards who escaped from the dragon. Each of them took one piece. One at a time. Where's Melzar's piece? The castle on the side of the Crandorian refugees camp North Remington. He locked himself in there as no one's seen him for years. Sounds like my kind of guy. Inside of the castle is like a maze, and is populated by undead monsters. Maybe you can get all of the way through the maze to find this piece of the map. Is that the thing on the map called Melzar's Maze? Might be what I'm looking for. I just sometimes go in there to prove themselves so I can give you the key to Melzar's Maze. Okay, cool, we got a key. Where's Thalzar's piece? Thalzar's most paranoid of the three wizards. He hid his map piece and took the secret of its location to his grave. I don't think you're able to find that one is by ordinary means. You should talk to the Oracle on Ice Mountain. Okay. Where's Lozar's piece? A few weeks ago, I told you to speak to Lozar herself. In a house across the river from Lumbridge. Unfortunately, Goblin Raiders kill her and stole everything. She was a very good wizard then. Uh, one of the goblins from Goblin Village probably has the map piece now. Where can I find the right ship? We find the right route, only a ship made to the old design will navigate through the reefs to the island. If there's one still existence, it's probably in Port Siren. Then of course you need to find a captain willing to sail to Crandor. Not sure if I'm one of them. That guy who made me the wig, wasn't he a captain? He's an old guy, I'm sure he'll do it. Uh, I'm gonna protect myself from the dragon's breath. That sh part should be too difficult actually. I believe the Duke of Lumbridge has a special shield in his armory that is enchanted against the dragon's breath. Okay. So that's five things we got to do. We have Melzar's Maze. We have the Oracle. We have Goblins. We have the Duke. We have Port Siren. What do we do first? Let's go talk to the Duke. That's a, sh that's a quick teleport away. Yeah, so... We, c we can do this. We got this. It seems like it's going to be a lo the longest quest we've done so far. That's good. That's why I saved it for last. Uh, so the Duke of Lumbridge, up in his big old castle in the center of town. Uh, have we talked before? I'm pretty sure we... Yeah, he's the one that told us about the Rune Mysteries. Duke Horacio. Uh, greetings! Welcome to my castle. Uh, I need to be protected from Dragon Breath. I know it's kind of random for me to be walking into your castle and asking that, but do it anyway. A knight going on a dragon quest. Hmm, what dragon do you intend to slay? Um... Elvarg. Yeah. Elvarg, you sure? Yeah. Pretty sure that's what it's called. A brave man than I. I would hope so. Uh, why is everyone so scared of this dragon? Back in my father's day. Back in the old days, Crando was an important city state. Uh, politically, it was important as Falador of Rock and its ships faded in every port one day. Uh, when I was little, all contact was lost between ships and all the black and boys. Just, everything just stopped? Okay. He was scared, he posted lookouts on the roof to one if the dragon was approaching. All the silly rulers were the Elvar would devastate the whole continent. But can I have a shield now? If you really think you're up to killing the dragon, capture sure the one who can kill it. Give me no shield. Be care of that if you kill it. If you kill it for own sake, make sure it's really dead. Okay, I'll stab it a few times. So we got a shield. Anti dragon shield. That sounds. like it'll do. Hey, wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. 
There's a big scratch on it. I get one without a scratch on it. I get one without a scratch. No. No. Okay. That, that, that's fine. I'll deal with the scratch. I'll deal with it. Okay. We are here now in Port Siren. We are looking for a boat. Hey, bartender. Yeah, is it boomers? Okay. Oh, hi, Ahab. You're a little messed up. Can you help me get to Crandor in it? Alright, mate, you can't be serious. That we don't want to Elbarg the dragon. Yeah, that's right. I gotta go and slay him. I cannot help you and right sorry I be see a fine young laddie like self go after you do. Arr. Okay, so he's gonna be no help. Hmm. What about the red beard? Hey red beard. I got you your rum and stuff. Arr. 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 He's got nothing. But the monks of Entrana. I'm not threatening at all. They have nothing to say to me. Okay. Seaman Loris. Or Thrissor. Let's talk to Loris. Seaman Loris. Oh, Captain. Get to, to, to Captain. Captain Tobias. I'm going to Takrajma. I'd rather go to Crandor. No, I need to stay alive. I have a feeling this way. Okay. Everyone has a wife and family. Jeez. I, I thought you all just stood around here all day. Okay, I'm gonna go to my first... Actually, let's see what else is down here. Then I'll go to my first thought. What do we have down here? Person. Clarice. Claire. Clarence. Do you understand in buying a ship now? I'll be straight with you. She's not quite seaworthy now, now but give her a way to work. She need a ship inside a port card. Uh, shake me to Crandall when she's ready. Crandall, are you joking, right? Nope. I gotta go slay a dragon. You must be crazy. And it's time to buy reefs that rip this ship shreds. Okay, so this is not the ship I want. If you found a map, you need experienced captain to stand a chance getting through. Even if I could get to it, there's no way I'm going any close to that dragon than I have to. They say it can destroy whole ships with one bite. Um, no, should we see where the... No, not really. Okay. No ETA. Why is she damaged? Uh, there's no particular accident, which she is wear and tear. Uh, Lady Lumbridge is an old Kondorian fishing ship. Oh, yes, this is what we need, I guess. As for kind, as far as I know, that kind of ship is mighty maneuverable, but not too tough. Uh, she had to be somewhere else who Crandor was destroyed. She had several owners since then. Not all of them looked after her too well. Once she's patched up, she'll be yours new. I'd like to buy this ship. Of course, I'm sure the work needed to do on it wouldn't be too expensive. 2,000 gold, even throw in my cabin boy Jenkins. I get a free Jenkins! Um, I need more money. I have the money, I just didn't bring that much money. Okay, I can go get that. Okay, got the gold. And I'm ready to get my free Jenkins. Clarence, I'm ready to pay you. Yep, sounds good. Hey, it's Jenkins! Hi, Jenkins. Eat the gear ship, Ben. I like to inspect you some more. How does everything look? Is all good? There's a hole! Wooden planks. Okay. Wooden planks. I'll need to get some of them. On the next episode. Sure, let's go with that. Let's get beat for this episode of RuneScape. Next episode, we'll be repairing this ship. We'll be finding a map, we'll be finding a sailor, and heading off to slay the mighty Elvard on Crendor. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.
Bye.